on agenda number five, uh, the item number five. So my comment uh, is on the meeting times. I understand you're going to discuss that tonight. I have requested many times that the meeting time be moved to a more convenient time for the public to participate. Um, for the common working class public, uh, the 4 p.m. planning commission, or planning agency meeting, excuse me, they're really not accessible as one would have to request to leave work early to even be able to attend, let alone bring a request in person to the board. And typically the planning agency meeting will be on a separate day and I would request that that would be done as well. Um, and I believe the same issues arise for participating um, with these regular meetings. Uh, five o'clock is is very early. A lot of people are still at work or just leaving work. Um, and this issue was recently illustrated at the Q&A public hearings that were held early in the evening. And many residents scrambled to attend the first few meetings. And it was obvious that some of those hearings, um, there were emails sent um, to state residents' testimony because of the time they were not able to attend. So this is of importance, great importance to the people in the community. 7 p.m. is the standard norm. Some boards meet at 7.30. I have, a, I have observed your 5 o'clock meetings, and they can include anywhere from 6 to 7.30 or so, not too far beyond that. I do not think as public servants that that is a hardship for any of you. Um, and as for the employees and subcontracted services, um, it's a given when you take that position that you'll have a long day. Um, it's part of the job. And as for Union Township, it's typically two days a month to have a long day, and except perhaps for an occasional workshop or a public hearing. So you plan for that. It's all part of the job. And what is really a hardship is for the public to be a part of their local government and try to participate. And having Facebook Live, that's not public participation. They can watch, but they cannot interact with you. Um, or um, even make public comment, as I am tonight. Um, and I really don't think that our employers would appreciate employees watching Facebook while performing their job tasks. So that was my comment on that. And I also wanted to make another comment. I want to, uh, again, express my extreme concern about the financial burden um, that the constant litigation this board has been involved in. The number of lawsuits filed against this township and this township filing against others, it's unimaginable and it's totally unacceptable to the taxpayers. The cost is absolutely obscene. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of tax dollars needlessly are being squandered on attorney's fees only to end up using more tax dollars to pay the litigant to take a settlement. <clears throat> Buying out contracts that this board themselves approved and voted on in numerous instances. And I wonder if this information about all of these lawsuits and the cost to the taxpayers will be in our next newsletter to make the residents <clears throat> aware of where a lot of their money is going to. And I believe that the Union Township tax care payers cannot continue to bear the undue financial burden brought upon our checkbook due to poor decision making. <coughs> and the bottom line is the buck stops with the five of you. No expenditure is approved without your vote. And I wonder if it were your personal checkbook if the same decisions would get a unanimous yes vote. Thank you. Thank you.